Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian nutritionist, and with me today is Miss Leanne Anderson, a registered dietitian. Leanne, welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. Thank you, Tim. It's a pleasure to be here. Two dietitians on one cooking show. What's the world coming well, to? Hopefully healthier. That's a good answer, yes. You know, Memorial Cooking Innovations is changing the world one bite at a time. So, Leanne, you know Chef Mike Hodgkins here at the hospital because you've yes. worked with him, and, and I know Chef Mike. Well, uh, sometimes when we do a recipe, uh, we'll pull a, uh, a, a traditional recipe and then we'll alter it to make it healthier. But other times we develop a recipe, and all the recipes that are done on Memorial Cooking Innovations are we, we develop. Uh, and so, in this case, Chef Mike wanted to do something different, he said, and he's not able to be with us today, but uh, you've graciously volunteered to do our demonstration today. Yes, I have. And so Chef Mike says to me, he says, I want to I want to do I want to stuff a chicken breast with uh, ham, cheese and spinach. So Leanne, what what flavors would go with ham, cheese and spinach? Well, first I think of onions. Onions. Garlic. Good. Garlic, that's a good one. Maybe some peppers. Peppers, good. Maybe some uh, sun-dried tomato for a little zip and some color. Yeah, add some color. Okay, so we're starting to get ingredients. See how this recipe is developing? And so part, part of a recipe is the list of ingredients and part of it is the procedure. So now we need a procedure. And so if you were going to stuff a chicken breast, there are several ways to do that. Mm -hmm. So one way is you, you cut him this way and you make a pocket and stuff the ingredients. Or another right. way might be you pound him out flat and you roll up the ingredients in what's called a roulade. Mm -hmm. We've done a roulade on a past show. Uh, but Mike said no, he wanted to do something different. Leanne, tell us how Mike wanted to do this. Well, he um, just took the uh, chicken breast and laid it flat, cut, made a vertical slice through it, and yes. then mold the chicken around the stuffing. So okay. it simplifies the process. Okay, see, those chefs, they are very practical people. Yes, very efficient. Well, Leanne, now you're a member of the uh, team at the Polk Education Center. Mm -hmm. So tell our viewers what you do in the Polk Center. Well, I, I'm a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and certified diabetes educator. Mm -hmm. Primarily, um, I see clients for um, nutrition counseling to help them learn how to eat healthier. Mm -hmm. We see clients of all ages and different mm -hmm. um, conditions that, that require nutrition counseling mm -hmm. or management, such as diabetes, overweight, chronic kidney disease. And we have viewers at home that watch Memorial Cooking Innovations for mm -hmm. that very reason. Huh? Exactly, right. So. Um, also, we provide diabetes management, self-management mm -hmm. training, okay. and um, that's teaching people with diabetes how to manage their disease from all aspects, not just their diet. So, Leanne, what made you decide to become a dietitian? Well, I grew up on a farm in the Midwest. You did? I did, too. Not so, in the Midwest, but I grew up on a farm. That's great. Great okay. upbringing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, we produced a lot of our own food and also I was very involved in 4-H. Okay. Always had a food project included okay. and um, then my brother was diagnosed with diabetes when he was two years old really? so that kind of got me interested in nutrition and how the body works and um, kind of led me towards dietitian. So, so from an early standpoint you had a passion for diabetes. Yes, I've focused on diabetes for most of my career. And isn't it isn't it destiny that you ended up at the Polk Education Center? It really is. What a cool thing. Yeah. All right. Well, that's neat. Well, and Leanne has graciously volunteered to do our demo today. So what do you think, Leanne? Should we get started? I think we should. Let's go. Okay. Tim, let's start with the spinach mixture. Okay. You ready? All right. All right. First, we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Add that to the pan, let it heat up a little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to add the peppers first. We're okay. adding these ingredients kind of in order of the length of time it takes for them to cook. Okay, all right. So we don't burn some and not get some others not done. So Leanne, when you're cooking at home, do you have like a go-to recipe book that you go to all the time? Well, I have a um, 
file folder that is stuffed full of recipes that mm -hmm. I've either tried or want to try that I've pulled from magazines, printed off the internet. Yeah. Um, needs a little organization. Yeah. But um, I also tend to use uh, Southern Living or Cooking Light recipes quite have, often. Have great recipes. They don't do. They? I have. I think I've only had one fail in all the years. Sometimes you have to watch those Southern Living recipes because they're a lot of times heavy on their fats. Yes, you have to kind of modify them sometimes, yeah, yeah. tweak them a little bit. Yeah. And then um, I have a couple old church cookbooks for those traditional, you know, home cooking types of recipes. Yes. That yes. I'll turn to. So. Okay, so what goes in after Next, this? Next, we're going to add the onions. Okay. Chopped onion. Some garlic. Garlic. You can never go wrong with onions and garlic. I was right. glad you said that. This you know, is kind of the, the trifecta of ingredients. Yes. So Mike and I were talking about this recipe, and then, of course, we involved you in this. And so that's how we came up with the ingredients. And, and I would have done this completely differently, but that's part of the fun of having a team to do recipes, right. isn't it? Right. Yes. And he simplified the process. Yeah. So yeah. that um, I'm always looking for ways to make things simpler and yes. easier to make. When you're yes. short on time, that's important. And you know, the the cooking techniques that I've learned here on Memorial Cooking Innovations, I use at home all the time. Right, just little things that you learned along the mm -hmm. way, what works and doesn't work. Yeah, and as my daughter Claire says, Dad, you're a lot better cook than you used to be. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I hope I get, get the same response. Well, uh, okay, so you've got your onions and peppers. Now yeah. what's what's next? Next, we're going to add the ham. Okay. And the so dried tomatoes. Okay. Now they're dried. Um, the juices from the onions and the peppers will help soften those oh. sun-dried tomatoes. Kind of rehydrate them. Rehydrates okay. those. You know, talking about my daughter, Claire, uh, all of my recipes used to be just in a piled into a drawer. And oh, it was a big yeah. mess. And you know you you look for things. Okay, so it's Christmas. Where's that dressing recipe? Exactly. It takes forever. Uh, well, a couple of years back, Claire gave me a three ring binder that she per personalized. It's real neat. Look, it's got a chef on it and everything. And uh, uh, so now all of my recipes are organized in that three ring binder. Wow, she put them in there for you and everything? No, she didn't. Um, she, she just gave me the three ring binder, but that was enough to get me going. Get you motivated, yeah. yeah. And, awesome. and you know, dietitians love to organize things. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. It's a requirement. Okay, so next, what's next? We're gonna add the spinach. Yeah. And this always, every time you use fresh spinach, it looks like it's gonna be yes. too much, but it's gonna wilt and then down. it's not enough. So. Yeah. And on this, you want to kind of keep stirring it yeah. so that the spinach doesn't um, stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. Okay. I'm just kind of keep mashing it down and Look at the it fresh around. food that's in this I know, in this the dish. colors are marvelous. You know, the ongoing, one of the ongoing themes of Memorial Cooking Innovations is the flavor is in the freshness. And you know, I'm starting to see that like in TV commercials. Have you noticed that lately, how TV commercials are, are highlighting their fresh food? Fresh, yes. They must have been watching Memorial Cooking Innovations. Could have been. Huh. You know, Memorial Cooking Innovations is seen in 62 cities across the country. And I know you know that because we've talked about that. It's, it's right. amazing that here in, in Lufkin, Texas, we have a, a cooking show that is nationwide. I know, that's amazing. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. It's really starting to You've look done pretty a, right there. Yeah, this should be done here in just a little bit. I'm going to add a little pinch of salt and pepper. So there you've just got your salt and pepper combined. Combined. You just learned that from it, Mike. I did. Yeah. And then a little bit of parsley chopped. Okay. okay. Just to give it a little more flavor. You know, parsley is one of those ingredients that has become a regular on my shopping list. Before I did Memorial Cooking Innovations, you know, I, I just didn't use parsley that much. Right. But it is just such a fresh, clean flavor. It goes in so many things. Yeah, it adds a lot of kind of some pep. So this is pretty much ready to go. You want to put that in here? Yes. Okay. Since we're going to be baking this dish, the, the um, vegetables don't have to be cooked thoroughly because they're going to okay. bake and cook some more. In fact, it's better if they're not because that way they, they, they still have some texture. Exactly, huh? and retain their... Um, 
nutrients. Okay. So next, we're going to prepare the chicken breast for the stuffing. Okay. Tim, now that this is cool, we're going to add the cheese. Okay. And mix it together. All right. So here's where you're blending the flavors. And you know, you don't have to be a chef to blend flavors. Uh, the, what's, in fact, we blend flavors all the time in, for example, in soups and stews. Exactly. You know, exactly. this happens to be a, a chicken entree that you're bending, blending flavors in, but, but blending flavors is just something that, what flavors go well together and how do I blend them? Exactly. And then this recipe, the cheese acts as a binder. It kind of helps hold that stuffing together okay. once right. we um, put the chicken on. That's a good reason for people to watch Memorial Cooking Innovations. Right, to huh? learn those tips and tricks. Let me move this out of, out okay. of your way. So next we're going to um, get the chicken ready. Okay. And now, now uh, uh, you have a scoop out here, and I wanted to ask you, so what are you going to do with it? Well, we're going to take this, the spinach and scoop it onto the, um, make a mound in the, in the dish. Okay. Here, let me help. There we go. Pack it in there. Okay. Just kind of mound it up. Okay. This is a beautiful mixture right here. I love this. Yeah. And it smells delicious. Okay. 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 Next, All right. we get the chicken ready. All right. So here's that vertical cut we were talking about. See that little membrane there? Okay. You just cut it all the way through. And it's just helpful. Leave, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Leave just a little bit at the end there, so you okay. don't cut it in half. And it's helpful to have a good sharp knife. Absolutely. In in everything you do in the kitchen. Okay. So that. Right. See how that right. opens up. I see. Just drape it across. Ooh, this is stuffing. really going to present well, isn't it? Yes. Just um, fold the chicken around. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. And that's Here. all there is to it. It's very Here simple and easy and quick versus trying to stuff the stuffing in. You just lay the chicken on top. That's a lot easier, huh? So it's ready to go in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Okay. Or another option would be to prepare it through this stage and then refrigerate it and bake it later. Okay, so you could we're do short this short on ahead. time. Yeah, yeah, you knew you were going to have a busy evening. Yeah. This is ready Ma to go. Maybe you have this ready for uh, before your dinner guests arrive. Exactly, okay. right. All right. While the chicken's baking, let's go ahead and make the sauce. Okay. Okay. So um, originally our recipe calls for a light lemon cream sauce, but I decided okay. to just do something a little different okay. today. You're, you're being creative. I am. I am. Okay. Um, what so are you going to do? So we're going to make a um, creamy cheese sauce. Ooh, that sounds so good. So it's not exactly low in calories, but we're going to keep the portion small so we won't okay. increase the calories of the dish okay. by that much. So okay, it's so, kind of a treat. So one thing you all have learned from watching Memorial Cooking Innovations in the past is we can use some high-fat uh, foods if we keep the serving size right. small. Right. Huh? You know, if your side dishes, you want to maybe do more... Um, lighter fare for those. Okay. So just a couple teaspoons of butter. Okay. I'm going to melt that. Okay. And that going. Sometimes if you move the pan around that will melt the butter a little bit better. You know one of the things that Leanne when I was an analyzing our recipe Sometimes when you analyze recipes, you find surprises. And, right. You know, I've been doing this for eight years now, and uh, you still find surprises every now and then. Well, one of the reasons for that is because the food manufacturers are constantly developing products based on what the public wants or what they think they want. And so the nutritional on those products is constantly changing. Right. Well, a product that we've used a lot in the past is uh, a fat-free half and half. Right. But, but the surprise, is that, is that, yes, is that what's going Yes, we're going to use in? some regular half and half okay. though today. Well, and so the surprise was that when I analyzed this using uh, regular, uh, sorry, fat-free half and half, the sodium on fat-free half and half is much higher than on regular right. half and half. So in this case, it was better to use real half and half uh, and just alter how much we use, how much we put on the chicken, uh, 
mm -hmm. uh, so that we could hit our sodium limit. Exactly, yeah. Reading labels is so important and that's one thing we really focus on mm -hmm. in working with our clients. We're just mm -hmm. gonna add some cheese here. And so that it, to melt. And so in this dish, the thickener, you know, sometimes in a sauce you would use, uh, well, tip, traditionally flour. You would use, right. if, if it's oriental, you'd use cornstarch. But in this sauce, you're using cheese as a thickener. Right, and the, the half and half also thickens as it starts to heat up and, and simmers. You know, when you have half and half and butter and uh, cheese, it's hard to make that not taste good. Right, it's <laughs> pretty much like the, the peppers, onions, and garlic. Yes, that's right. Now, you know what would make that perfect is just a little bit of salt and pepper, and I notice you have some over there. Are you saving yes, that for the end? I am. <laughs> the cheese is starting to melt. Yeah, okay. And you want to keep stirring so it doesn't stick to the... You don't want it to burn. ...bottom of the pan. And you know, that's actually a basic rule in any sauce, is yeah. you, 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 you always stir a sauce so that it doesn't stick or burn. Tim, all this sauce needs is a little salt and pepper, and we're done. Okay, that's beautiful. It really thickened up nice, yeah. didn't it? And if you're watching your sodium, you can just add a little black pepper or even a little cayenne pepper to give it some kick. Okay, that's beautiful. Well, you know what I like about Memorial Cooking Innovations? What's that, Tim? Well, I like the ongoing learning about food and nutrition. I mean, this is beautiful. I know what you mean, Tim. I've been watching MCI for a long time and I always get great ideas um, to try at home or to suggest to my clients when they come to see me here at the center. Well and I do the same thing. I, I take what I've learned from Memorial Cooking Innovations and same thing. I, I teach my clients about how to eat healthy. Exactly. So this chicken's ready. Should we go ahead and yep, serve it? Yep. Okay so I'll when you go to serve you. this, it comes out of the oven. You want to use a nice um, big firm step spatula and get underneath the chicken. Just slide it off onto the plate. That's good, okay. And then we're going to add our cream sauce. And so here you're adding uh, not only flavor to this dish, but you're also adding uh, uh, eye appeal to exactly. the dish. Exactly, right. We eat not just with our mouths, but with our eyes and our... And the aroma. The aroma. The, I mean, I'm eating this dish with my nose right now. So see what happens when you get creative in the kitchen Ooh. and experiment with different ingredients? It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, I brought today this skillet for a very special purpose. Are you ready? I think so. All right. Raise your right hand. Put your left hand on the skillet. It's not hot, is it? No. Okay, good. And repeat after me. I, Leanne Anderson. I, Leanne Anderson. Will do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. To continue changing the world one bite at a time. To continue changing the world one bite at a time. Okay, I think she's ready. And after eight years of doing Memorial Cooking Innovations, I'm leaving you in very capable hands. And so before I go, I have to say thanks to a few people. So I've got to say thanks to the teams that have made Memorial Cooking Innovations such an innovation uh, so over the last few years. So I want to thank the team at City of Lufkin, people like Randy Cadwell and Sid Mudlin. And I want to thank Miss Yana Ogletree with uh, CHI St. Luke's Health. And I want to thank the team at uh, Polk Education Center, Miss Leanne Anderson and Miss Ethel Ballinger. And of course, I can't leave without thanking our Sodexo partners, uh, Miss, uh, Chef Mike Hodgkin and all of the chefs that have been a part of Memorial Cooking Innovations mm -hmm. through the years. Now, I can't leave without thanking you, our viewers, because with your help, Memorial Cooking Innovations will continue changing the world one, one bite, bite at, at a time. time.
Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. And today, Chef Reggie is going to cook for us some delectable uh, items for holiday cooking. Chef Reggie, tell us what you're going to cook. What do you think? It does. It kind of makes you want to jump. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian. And I'm Manny Marini, executive chef. And look, Tim, look who came by. Let's drop by to say hi. Why, Carrie Beer, I'm glad to see you. We, we can go with the, the chef and the dietitian through the grocery store. That's a great idea. It's going to be a tough one, isn't it? You all want to go with us? Okay, come on. Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian. And I'm Manuel Marini, executive chef. No, you're the chef. No, you are. No, you're the chef. No, you're the dietitian. No, no, you're the chef. You're the dietitian. No, you're getting me confused now. No, you're Chef Manny, I think we've got a successful tailgate Oh, party. this is great. This is great. Uh, Chef Manny, I had one of our viewers stop me the other day and she said, you look a lot bigger on TV. And so, Chef Manny, I'm on TV. Do I look bigger to you? You know what, Tim? I did not want to say that. Tell no, me. I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding. But you know what they say, TV adds another 20 pounds. Oh, I was... And per camera, so you look at how many cameras we're shooting this with, so uh -oh. you're putting a little weight there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I was hoping it was just her widescreen TV. So Chef Manny, have you sent your letter to Santa yet? You know what, Tim? I didn't send him a letter. I sent him an email. You have Santa's email address? He didn't give that to me. Oh, you, you gotta be a special. Together, we are changing the world one bite at a time. Memorial Cooking Innovations is made possible through the generous efforts of CHI St. Luke's Memorial, the Polk Education Center, Sodexo Food Service, and the City of Lufkin, KLTX Channel 15.